Um, hello. Actually, I've had a hoot from hell using this camera for the past week and a half or so. I've, I've had this camera, I will have this camera for a little over uh, two weeks to use. Um, I was extremely interested in uh, messing around with the camera since the Fujifilm representative came around to a local camera store about a month and a half ago. Um, I actually found this camera quite shocking in a, in a, in a good way. I have an X100F, which, even though it's compact, is still a substantially large camera. Compared to the X70, this has faster autofocus and, of course, is substantially smaller. This is the truly pocketable camera. Let's first kind of start off at the end and then go to the beginning by stating that even if someone had unlimited funds, it's like, what's the best pocketable, awesome little camera? You know, something I could slip in my my pocket, my breast pocket, or in my uh, laptop bag, it would actually be this, the XF10. Um, what people don't realize is that looking at this, they're thinking, oh, it's a nice, cute little expensive point-and-shoot camera, and it's not. This has a full 24 megapixel APS-C crop sensor in it. It actually has a bare color filter array on the sensor, but it also has a leaf shutter. And the autofocus on this camera is faster than it was on my X100T, which I did own and got rid of to replace for the X100F, which I do own. Substantially smaller than the X70, which I had for a few months. Um, wasn't, I don't want to say not impressed with the X70, but it was substantially a large camera. Even though it was wonderful, the autofocus was lacking, and it was a large camera. It also had a leaf shutter. Um, obviously, not uh, watching this video for specifications, you can get that anywhere. But this is an 18.5 millimeter lens, so 2.8, and the effective field of view is a 28 uh, millimeter uh, effective uh, full frame field of view. It says a bare color filter array on this sensor. The amount of customization, make note of this, is greater on this tiny little compact camera <laughs> than it is on the Nikon Z7. Not only do you have a front command dial, you also have a front dial. This is actually a front command dial. This sits directly, the uh, same as the new uh, medium format Fujifilm GFX uh, 50R rangefinder, a front command dial and a rear command dial. Also, you have a great deal of customization. You actually have a touch autofocus uh, or touch to uh, set parameters in uh, your display back button, which you hold down and actually have uh, my four touch functions for top swipe, right swipe, left swipe uh, set to autofocus area, shutter, and uh, ISO, and also have uh, the top set to uh, photometry, excuse me, and top function button, and I have a, a second uh, function button right here above the Q menu. There's a Q menu button and a customization button right here. There's actually a lot, surprisingly, a lot of customization on this, and because it is also a leaf shutter, and I'm going to talk in a second, about the magic of a leaf shutter. That means that this tiny little flash on this camera, when you look at a flash on a compact camera, like, ah, oh, that's great, a tiny little flash. On a leaf shutter camera, it becomes a lot more potent, especially at higher shutter speeds. You don't actually have to worry about HSS. You could use anything. People say, well, this camera's too small. You know, it doesn't have a hot shoe. You know, the larger Fuji films like the X100F or the X100T have a hot shoe. And you could actually set this uh, flash to command mode and use any old stinking flash with a slave mode on it, including some old Nikon speed light for fill lighting or uh, hair lighting or whatever you want. Actually, the, uh, the flash capabilities, because A, it's a leaf shutter camera, and the fact that you do have commander mode on this are actually quite substantial. This camera does not need a uh, hot shoe on it. Um, you have a great deal of swipe uh, function uh, customization. And you said you have a front and rear command dial. When people look at this camera, including myself, I thought, well, you know, I really want to try this camera. I didn't actually realize, uh, you know, actually how sophisticated this camera is. Now, the camera is uh, $500. It's $499. At least here it is in the United States. I actually give the design a 10 out of 10 and the customization or the customizability of this camera a 10 out of 10. With front and rear command dial, touch screen, which, of course, you need touch screen to actually select autofocus. Well, you don't have to. You can actually use the joystick, and this little camera does have a joystick. It's actually a substantial camera. Um, 
I actually call this a mighty mini. Let me actually talk about a couple of the things that people don't realize on this camera. And also, too, I want to point out when I said I would be doing this review, I had more than a few people say, well, I've heard from other people that the autofocus on this camera is uh, no damn good. And that is absolutely 100% untrue. Um, I've uploaded some uh, shots. There's my, my uh, little baby beamer. <laughs> I took this shot some time ago with uh, the uh, XF10 and I have some other shots. Uh, boring shot, but uh, the autofocus is not slow. Now it does have a stepper motor which does pump the lens out for autofocus, but it is by no means, and the same thing exists on the X100T, X100F, and the old X70, but it is by no means slow, nor is it bad at all. Even in low light I had absolutely no problem or complaint about it snapping to autofocus, none. So I'm actually going to call BS on uh, complaints that I've heard from other people who weren't reporting it directly to me when I said I was going to review this camera. They're hearing it secondhand from other people that I'm just calling nonsense on that. I mean, it is nonsense. Right now, I'm in aperture priority where I actually have this camera set. You could actually have it set to manual. You have a, a, a top command dial for manual, uh, aperture priority, shutter, program, macro, and other things. You know exactly what that type of dial is. But in aperture priority where I use it uh, all the time, for the past week and a half been testing it, I have a front command dial set to, uh, uh, right here, front command dial set to uh, uh, manual focus override with peaking, and the peaking on this camera is actually really good. My front command dial right here, which actually sits uh, dead smack over top of the shutter release, is uh, set for the aperture setting and aperture priority, and the rear command dial is set for exposure cop. Uh, this command dial will actually uh, change functions depending on whether you're in aperture priority or shutter priority, obviously so. It does come with a wrist strap and a neat little uh, charger with a bubblegum uh, uh, battery, and of course it has one card slot. Actually, show you the little bubble gum battery right here. There you go. I forget the actual model designation on this battery. I'm getting old. I guess I'm going to need bifocals now. Yeah, the NP95. Um, I had a, a Ricoh GR. The GR, Ricoh GR, well, that is a fantastic camera. This is certainly so a better camera. The autofocus is much better, so it has far superior autofocus to the Ricoh GR. People, in looking at this camera, including myself, don't really realize how customizable this camera is. Honestly, the XF10 is a very, very tiny point-and-shoot size camera that is powerful due to, one, a leaf shutter. Number two, it is... You know, most cameras this size, the size sensor they have inside of them, it's like a 12 millimeter sensor. This is a full APS-C crop sensor inside of this tiny, tiny little camera. And uh, that is substantial. The images will speak as much to that effect. And here's some boring shots, obviously nothing exciting. I'll post a link for a few of these below. Contrast, saturation. It's wonderful. I notice this is a leaf shutter actually by looking at the bokeh in the background because it has that oblongated uh, triangular uh, bokeh. <laughs> There's nothing bad about that, but uh, I love leaf shutter. Leaf shutter is magical because leaf shutter is far more powerful for uh, shooting um, uh, higher uh, shutter speeds and still having substantial power. This means that the little uh, flash on the X70, which is no more in the XF10, or even on the X100F, is a lot more powerful than people will give it credit for simply by looking at it. Also, too, incredibly important, you can shoot at whatever, like you stick this in manual mode, you want to do, uh, um, uh, set your shutter speed, obviously, and your aperture to whatever you want. You can use any old stinking speed light in slave mode with this camera. That is the magic, magic of leaf shutter. If you don't believe me, just look up uh, the magic of leaf shutter flash photography. It's, leaf shutter is incredible. Um, I wish to God every lens was a leaf shutter. Uh, that would create problems when you go use adapted lenses on interchangeable lens cameras, but uh, I love leaf shutter. There is Bluetooth interface, so you could use your phone, so you can both take shots remotely and also transfer the shots to your phone. The X70, like I said, is substantially larger, and the X70 is halfway between the size of the XF10 uh, and the X100F, which I do have. Uh, this is a substantially compact little camera, but it is a powerful camera with a large crop sensor in it, especially for a camera this size, and it has a leaf shutter. Battery life is extremely good. Um, for street shooters, there is a snapshot mode that uh, is a settle, uh, settle 
that you can actually have set to either 2 meter or 5 meters so there's almost no lag for hitting and eliminating out autofocus and lag of uh, missing the moment so as a street sweeper camera for street photography and catching stuff within a set zone I mean, you know you're going to be shooting you know, 5 meters plus. So you could set your parameters so that there's no seeking and there's no lag for catching that instant moment on the X100, uh, excuse me, the XF10, I almost said X100F. Um, I said I don't think most people realize that this camera is a DX sensor and uh, how incredibly useful and wonderful a leaf shutter is. Um, Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh yeah, the front the command dial is customizable. Actually, I have it set for manual focus override, so I have it set to peaking. Um, the leaf shutter, like I said, lets you use uh, any speed light as a slave you want with any old thing. I mean, even back from the 1990s, like an old SB28. Um, leaf shutter is magical. Um, like I said, the small flash makes the, uh, the flash output from the built-in one incredibly more effective than you would dare realize. And I do mean that. I'm even talking about like some people uh, shots that I took today. I didn't post those up because they're because of family members and I don't want to post up pictures of family members. But I was doing some outdoor uh, flash photography uh, in the late uh, evening where the sun had basically just barely set and I was taking beautiful flash photos with the XF10 at uh, roughly 20 feet with this tiny little uh, built-in uh, flash. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I made this important point here on the last. Like I said, I would actually call this camera a Mighty Mini. Um, realistically, it's actually quite amazing with the front and rear command dial. I actually found this camera amazing. I'm so jaded on messing with so many cameras that uh, I knew this would be awesome because of the leaf shutter. But I didn't realize the level of customization this tiny little camera has. And the autofocus is more than pleasant enough. I mean, it is, it's good slash pleasant. It is not bad autofocus at all. It's better than my X100T was, and that was more than acceptable. The X100F is substantially faster, obviously so, but uh, this is a perfect pocketable camera. The only thing I'd actually have a gripe about, and it's not really a gripe, I wish Fujifilm would have included... And because of the dust and whatnot that gets, since this is a pocket camera, so to say, and uh, the dust and dust bunnies that would uh, you know, gather around the dials and uh, joystick and whatnot, I wish the Fujifilm would have included a cheap, you know, really cheap Junko case for it, um, for people that are pocketing it, because this is a pocketable camera. Actually, what this camera should be called is the Pocketable Powerhouse. Um, I give the design a 10 out of 10, like I said, customization a 10 out of 10. And since there's no perfect camera, I gotta be totally honest with you. Like I said I have no affiliate links, and uh, this camera is amazing. I actually give this camera like a 9.9 .9 out of 10. It really is an amazing camera. A camera, listen, just think about it a second. A camera this size with a full APS C sensor in it, leaf shutter. And very, very good, decent. I say it's better than decent. I'm trying to find the appropriate word, but uh, uh, very, very decent to autofocus. Tons of customization. You do another camera this size with a sensor. Let's just, let's just, let's just pause a second. Do you know there's another camera anywhere close to this size with a crop sensor in it and a leaf shutter and a front command dial and a rear command dial and a front control ring? that you can set to fully manual, do whatever you want, and because it's a leaf shutter, you can use any old damn speed light, even from 30 years ago, as long as it has a slave mode window on it to see a flash. You stick this flash, this camera, in uh, command mode, so that it's not actually putting out much light itself. It's just tripping off a speed light that you set remotely. You, can you name another camera that comes close to those specifications? I, no. 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 Um... I think this camera is absolutely incredible. I really do mean that. I don't say that lightly. I'm actually, <laughs> I was actually more than plus like, wow, that's neat. It's not like that. This camera didn't actually come across that way to me in the week and a half that I've been using it and playing with it and testing it. It came across as, oh, damn. You know, I kept stepping back from the camera and saying to myself, God, it's, this camera's got a lot of customization to it. And... You know, I could uh, I leave everything in aperture priority. I've only used it in manual a few times. Everything I do is aperture priority. 
This one, it comes in black. They call this champagne gold. Really, it's like uh, flat satin nickel with a uh, faux leather <laughs> faux leather cover. Um, I guess that would be appropriate. Anyway, Fujifilm calls it champagne gold. I don't really see the champagne in it. And I can see this is kind of gold, but it's not champagne gold. <laughs> I don't know, whatever. Somebody at Fujifilm decided to name it that. Um... Actually, like, other than the cheap case that I wish Fuji... And by the way, I'm a really good leather worker. Um, I want to get one of these cameras. This is the perfect pocketable go-everywhere camera. I actually can't think. Now, I love the X100F. Don't get me wrong. Right? But... It, uh, this camera's really awesome. <laughs> I'm actually extremely pleased with it. Actually, I'm not extremely pleased with it. I'm, I'm sure... Look at that. Talk about the saturation, the detail. It's sharp as hell. Contrast is great. Um, somebody out there might complain about uh, the the oblong, not sharp, but oblongated uh, bokeh, but that's due to the leaf shutter. I actually like that. I like seeing that. Um, it's not perfectly round. It's kind of like a rounded off uh, triangle. A very fat rounded off triangle. Uh this camera is actually awesome. <laughs> I'm actually really impressed with this camera. I was really hot to trot and messing with it. Is that the correct word? It's hot to trot uh, and messing with it when the Fujifilm rep came by. But I'm even more impressed having gone through the user manual, customized this camera every way to hell and back. Comes with this nice little leather wrist strap. Well, it's actually pleather, right? It's not real leather. I could make it out of real leather if I wanted to because I got a lot of leather. Don't get me wrong, I, I like making things out of leather. It's very relaxing. This is one hell of a powerhouse. I so the, call this, yeah. What, what was, was it, what did I want to call this camera? Sorry, I'm kind of uh, blathering right now like an idiot, right? Pocketable powerhouse or mighty mini. All of those are applicable. This is, is a really an awesome camera. I, I really do mean that. I said if you had unlimited money, I can't think of another camera with this this small with that many features, that's that customizable, with a sensor that big in it, on and on and on. Front command dial, rear command dial, front control ring that can you can set for customization. Absolutely a bleeping, bleeping awesome camera. I thought it would be really cool. I gotta be dead honest with you. When I, I first started messing with this camera, I was like, you know, it's, it's got a leaf shutter, so I know it's gonna be cool as hell. Because leaf shutter is magic! And I thought, well, it's going to be neat, but it's just a compact little camera. Yeah, you know. <laughs> it's not. It's actually a really awesome camera. <laughs> it's awesome. Um, this camera has more customization dials on it than a $3,500, well, $3,400 Nikon Z7. Let's leave it at that, girlfriend. <laughs> Truth. Uh, image samples are below. They are boring image samples. I've posted up a few. I don't even post up pictures of uh, family members. Look at that. <whistles> Look at that sexy, hot, fire red uh, BMW Z4 taken with uh, this camera right here, the XF10. This camera is awesome. I mean that serious as a heart attack. This camera is awesome. And I was not expecting that because eh, it's really small, you know, whatever. <laughs> Kind of like, it's nowhere going to be near as good as my X100F, which is an expensive camera. It's a good, it's a good camera. It's not a good camera. It's much better than a good camera. But thank you so much for watching. I'm so sorry I rambled. I really, really, really did enjoy this camera a lot. Dead, dead serious. Thank you, and... Put your film. <laughs> Bye.